Well, hopping from fire to fire can certainly wear down crews and spending days away from home and also their loved ones. But as CBS 13's Heather Jansen shows us, many volunteers are easing the stress with some furry friends. In the air or on the ground, the California firefight during a historic wildfire season can take a toll. It's tough. It, it requires a lot, so I'm, I'm just happy to do that. Benjamin Moulton helping at the Caldor fire. Many of his colleagues have been here for days. So this is what everybody trains for and they want to do it. For everyone, home base is this camp. This is little Miss Willow. Away from their own families and animals. So friendly faces Willow. like Willows are welcome. I've met Willow, I've met Bear. Anytime there's a dog around, everybody wants to go and pet a dog. You know, I'm no different. Encouraging a break from the long, hard days. Thanks for being out here. You're welcome. Thank you for being out here. Each morning begins with these therapy dogs. You can just see when we walk up to people, the big grin on their faces. The candid interactions. Morning. Worthwhile for volunteers like Betsy Christ. We do this as volunteers because it's important. When they're not together, they don't really. Sniffing out stress the dogs hop from fire to fire too but this one is the first so close to home so it's our backyard these guys are protecting our homes i'm evacuated they're out there making sure my home is still there when this is over happy to help dogs like drizzle don't discriminate oh hello hi <laughs> they relax reporters too our dogs enjoy doing what they're doing Animals just as enthusiastic about the job as the crews they're calming.